Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing uh, classical ideal gas and the thermodynamic properties uh, associated with classical ideal gas in our statistical mechanics course. So let us move forward. Now let us consider a classical monoatomic ideal gas such that we know an ideal gas should have uh, non-interacting particles. The Hamiltonian is given by this expression. H is equal to epsilon i pi square by 2m. It is let, let us name this as equation 1. And again from our previous classes, we know total energy is given by ni epsilon i. So that uh, the total ni is given by total n. And epsilon i is the individual energy of so particles. We know ideal uh, gas is uh, uh, taken to be uh, completely isolated from the surroundings. Now, we know there are n number of particles. They can be distributed in many ways. So, they will depend on the volume of the enclosure. So, here, omega, that is the number of microstates, which is a function of n eV, will be proportional to V of n. So, we can write an omega n eV is equal to constant Vn, which is equal to Cvn. Again, from our knowledge in thermodynamics, we know P by T is equal to dou S by dou V, n and E constant. Now here we know S is KBLN omega. Here S will become KBLN C V capital N and then N, this becomes N KB C LN C V. We know P by T is equal to 2 S by 2 V. So this becomes N KB. When you do the differentiation of this, V 1 by C V into C. So this is comes out to be N KB by V. You know what is NKB? P by T is equal to NKB. NKB where N is the Avogadro's number and KB is the Boltzmann's constant. It is nothing but the gas constant R. So finally, we derive the ideal gas equation that is PV is equal to NRT. Moving further, we get, the, we will try to uh, do the quantum mechanical approach. Now what is the quantum mechanical approach? Let us see. The single particle energy is confined or uh, confined to move in a cubical box of uh, length L. They are discrete and are expressed. We know we have studied particle in a box energies. We are assuming these single particle energies to be discrete. That itself is shown by the summation we have used here. So, the, which is given by epsilon nx ny nz. It will be, we know the particle in a box energies are h square n square by 8 ml square. So, here it is x square by 8 ml square, nx square plus ny square plus nz square. For nx, ny, nz, they can be written, they have values 1, 2, 3. H is the Planck's constant, m is the mass of the particles. These correspond to wave functions which vanish at the boundaries. So, they are free particle uh, solutions uh, and they, this uh, psi is uh, 0 at the boundary. With this background information, moving forward, let us write down x square plus ny square plus nz square is equal to 8m. L square is given by v raised to 2 by 3. We know L cube is equal to v. So, uh, L square will be v raised to 2 by 3 epsilon by h bar square which is epsilon star. The above equation corresponds to a single state. So, now for n number of uh, particles, the desired number omega will be n e capital E v which is given by uh, i is equal to 1 to 3 in summation n i square n i square which is given by uh, 8 m v raised to 2 by 3 uh, by h square is equal to e star. So this is a uh, profound understanding because we have finally expressed it in terms of v raised to 2 by 3. Now we know omega is proportional to s or s is proportional to omega. So here what happens, uh, then omega will be, then our S, which is a function of NVV, NVE will be equal to KB ln omega. And omega here is expressed as NV 2 by 3 E. Because here, we are writing 2 by 3 V 2 by 3 E. So, this is equation number 5. Now, moving from equation 5, we will express our expression as for a reversible adiabatic process, for a reversible adiabatic process which requires S and N to be constant is possible only when V raised to 2 by 3 E is equal to constant. We know 
this is a function of n v e here uh, we know uh, n is a fixed and this is also constant so this the v square v raised to 2 by 3 will be a constant let us name this as constant is equal to c and name this as equation 6 again from our previous knowledge we know p is equal to minus dou e by dou v n s or n n x a constant fixed so which will be minus dou by dou v and what is e e is p by v raised to 2 by 3 on uh, doing the differentiation we get 2 by 3 vc v by v raised to 5 by 3 so 5 by 3 can be split as v raised to 2 by 3 into v so what is v raised to 2 by 3 v raised to 2 by 3 is uh, c by e so this c c cancels and the e comes in the top and our p that is the pressure is 2 by 3 e now this uh, pressure is 2 by 3 e and it holds good for classical ideal gas and quantum monoatomic gas so here both classical and quantum um, ideal gas and quantum monoatomic gas this expression holds good that is pressure of a system of non relativistic non interacting particles is equal to the two thirds of the energy density now here so that is the e by g that is two thirds of the energy density again we know we have written p is equal to 2 by 3 c by v raised to 5 by 3 so bringing v to the left hand side p v 5 by 3 is equal to 2 by 3 c which can is also a constant so finally p v 5 by 3 is equal to constant which is the expression of variation of p with v in a reversible adiabatic process this is a very important expression p v 5 by 3 is equal to constant and again this expression that is pressure pressure of a uh, non relativistic non interacting particle is equal to 2 thirds of its energy density 2 thirds of e by v which is the energy density so uh, that's it thank you